in version 5 pillar edge we used to select the edges like for example for this box i will select each one of the four edges or i could have selected the four edges just by clicking and dragging but nonetheless i had to select edges and only then i could do the fillet however in version 6 what we have we can do is when we go to fillet edge we can choose a face the moment you choose a face, all the four edges related to that face were selected. If I had selected both these faces, all the seven edges would have got selected. For the moment, let me just select one of them. I have all the four edges selected. I press enter and I get filled edges on all the four sides of the space. The new thing in version 5 also is that we can edit this filled edge. So if I select this box again, press enter when done, I can select or deselect the edges I want more or less. Here I'm deselecting one edge, I'm not selecting anymore. And I press enter, I can select the fillet handles and modify them in the command prompt. Right now it's one, I'm changing it to 0.5 in the command prompt. Enter. And you can see that they have got changed to 0.5. Similarly, let me change these two handles using shift. I can press, let's say, 3 in the command prompt and I have a new fillet. Similar to fillet edge, we can also go ahead and do blend edge, chamfer edge and so on. Let's take chamfer edge for the moment. Let's make it 1 and let's take this lone edge. If I want to edit it, I can go back to solid, chamfer edge, say edit, select the object to edit, enter when done, select the chamfer, add handle, I'm giving a new chamfer distance of 3 out here at the midpoint, enter when done and I've got a new box with good edges on it.